In today's video, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite fragrance houses, and that is the House of Initio Parfums Privé. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts, then just keep watching. My name is Aisha from simplyaisha.com. Here on YouTube, I make videos about fragrance, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If those are things you're interested in, please consider subscribing. And if you are a returning subscriber, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So as I said in today's video, we will be talking about fragrances from the house of Initio. So before we get into the actual fragrances, I do want to kind of talk a little bit about the house. Initio Parfums Privé is a fragrance house out of France that is known for having addictive, sexy fragrances. In their fragrances, they use compounds that are supposedly meant to entice others or to calm you down. So think aromatherapy type compounds. Now, I'm not going to say that I necessarily agree with all the things that they claim, but the fragrances are amazing. And I feel like if you talk about it this year, you kind of need to talk about that as well. So currently they have four fragrance collections and they come in different bottles. And we'll kind of talk about each bottle as we get to it and what collection it's in. But each one of those collections are meant to invoke certain feelings when you smell them. So I have nine fragrances from the brand. I will be talking about each one of them and ranking each one of them. Now, of course, because we're talking about nine fragrances, these will not be full on reviews. If I have full on reviews for any of them, I will link them in the description and in the cards up there. <laughs> but these will not be full on reviews. There'll be more so overviews and I'll be ranking them in order from my least favorite to most favorite. But just know all of them are loves for me. None of them are on the chopping block. So take the ratings with a grain of salt. I had to rank them because that's what I do. <laughs> but really all of them are loves for me and I would recommend every single one in my collection. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into these fragrances. So this first fragrance is not actually included in the rankings because I just got this fragrance. It's been in my house maybe two days. I have not worn it yet, so therefore I didn't feel right to add into the ranking. So we're gonna talk about it a little bit, but I definitely wanted to include it in this video because it is part of my collection. And I hope to start using it in a couple months because it is more of a cooler weather scent in my opinion. So the fragrance we're talking about is Blessed Baraka. So this fragrance is from the Absolutes collection and the Absolutes collections come in these black bottles. The plate on the front is silver and it has this burgundy or garnet color weave throughout the plate. So the Absolutes collection are supposed to be mystical, supposed to be narcotic feeling. <laughs> And for the couple that I have out of my collection, I can definitely say they have an addictive nature to them. So this first one is Bless Baraka. And when I smell this fragrance, to me, it smells like a cinnamon, maybe tobacco honey type scent. I'm not sure of the notes of this fragrance. And like I said, take this with a grain of salt because I have not worn it. But to me, it smells like a very warm cinnamon tobacco honey scent. Very dark, very alluring. Definitely something for date night, for cool to cold weather. Definitely unisex. And I have to say, I just got this the other day. And when I smelled it, it was an immediate love for me. I'm sure from the way I described it, y'all probably already knew that because that's my vibe. Those are the type of fragrances that I like. But I smelled this and I was immediately smiling. I knew this one was gonna work for me. It was a blind buy. Don't do like me, y'all. Don't blind buy these fragrances. <laughs> but it was a blind buy and there are no regrets. Absolutely loving it thus far, but I haven't worn it. So again, that is Blessed Baraka. So in the number eight spot, we have High Frequency. So High Frequency is part of the Carnal Blends line from Initio, and all of these are in purple bottles with gold plates. The way you can tell the difference is by looking at the top. It'll have the name on there. All the Initio bottles have the name on the top and on the bottom. So as I was saying, this is part of the Carnal Blends collection, and the Carnal Blends collection are supposed to have notes in them to help awaken pleasure. <laughs> to cause people to become addicted to the smell of you. Um, I don't know about all that. <laughs> 
However, I will say that the two that I have out of this collection, I find them to be quite addictive. So this one again is high frequency. When I smell this, I get some sort of almond note. So to me, it smells like possibly almond blossom or heliotrope because it doesn't smell quite like foody almond. It's more like almond floral. Um, and then it also smells like there could be some jasmine in this fragrance. I'm not sure if jasmine is a no. If you guys are unfamiliar with my channel, I do not read the notes to you all because I feel like it is more helpful for me to give you what I feel about the fragrance. As you have seen, I will have the notes for all the fragrances in this area on the screen. So if you want actual notes, read them on the screen, but I really try to give you a feel for them and what I get from them. Anyway, so to me, it smells like there's some jasmine in here and it smells like that very kind of sexy, seductive jasmine. Nothing too sharp. Everything is very, very well blended. And there is something just extra special about this fragrance. The first time I smelled it, I liked it, but I didn't think anything was super special about it. Fast forward to me trying out a sample of it and finding it just very addictive. It's one that I kept wanting to spray and kept wanting to smell. And so that's why I splurged for a full bottle. So although the notes to me in this particular fragrance seem kind of simple, there's something unexplainable that makes me love it. <laughs> It makes me love it. it, makes me keep wanting to smell it, makes me keep wanting to wear it. But I haven't had it too long, so I think that's why it is number eight. But again, all of these are loves for me. So again, that is high frequency. In seventh place, we have Rehab. So Rehab is a part of the Hedonist collection from Initio. And this collection supposedly is for the wearer to feel the full pleasure of perfume. Those are Initio's words on this collection. So the bottles out of the Hedonist collection come in these white bottles. However, these are a little bit different because each one out of the Hedonist collection, there are three, but each one has a different color plate. So Rehab is the one with the silver plate. So you can kind of easily tell these apart. Anyway, Rehab to me smells like a nice, smooth, calming, but spicy scent. So there are a lot of different spices that I can smell in this, but I can't really pick them out. But if I had to pick them out, the ones that I think I can smell would be like cardamom, black pepper, possibly nutmeg, but I'm not quite sure about that. And this also kind of smells like there is a tobacco note in here. Now, if my memory serves me correct, I don't think there is a tobacco note, but to me, it kind of smells like it could be a smooth, spicy, dry tobacco leaf type of note. It's a spicy fragrance, but it's just so smooth. I think this is quite easy to wear. So I think if you're looking to get into spicy fragrances and you kind of want to just step your toe in, this will be one to try. It's not a sweet fragrance, although it has a little bit of sweetness to it that makes it a little bit more wearable. I think this is a nice way to get into spicy fragrances because it's just so well done. I love to wear this one during the daytime, but honestly, I feel like this one is very versatile. I can wear this one year round. I can wear it at night. I can wear it during the day. I feel this is 100% unisex. So, I mean, I, I feel like you couldn't go wrong with rehab. I don't know anybody that wouldn't like this. So again, that one is rehab. In sixth place, we have Musk Therapy. Now this one is sixth place for me. However, it is probably the one that I wear the most out of my entire Initio collection. This one is a musky fragrance, but it is a bright, citrusy, uplifting musk. The musk that's in here doesn't smell laundry detergent in my, in my opinion, but it does smell kind of clean, but also like kind of very slightly animalic. <laughs> And I feel like that makes it just an addictive type fragrance. So I didn't know where to put this in my lineup because in some ways I feel like this is similar to other fragrances, although I do feel like it's unique. I feel like it's very unique, honestly. But in some ways I feel like you can get the same vibe from other fragrances. So do you really need to spend this much on a must fragrance? And I think that kind of depends on you. For me, no regrets about it, okay? But I know there are a lot of people that think must therapy isn't that special. <laughs> And it, and so that's why I think it's in sixth place. But if I had to pick my most worn, actually, no, 
This is my second most worn out of my Nishio collection because it's just so easy. This one is great for summertime. I find that it works better in the heat. However, I wear this in the wintertime as well. Now, I live in a warmer climate, so we don't get super cold. So I'm not really sure how well this will do in like freezing temperatures. I have no experience there. But for mild winters, say like 50 degrees or so, this works perfectly, okay? <laughs> but I do prefer it in warm weather because I feel like the way that it sits on my skin, it just really like performs well with warmth. Um, so this is one that is perfect for day-to-day -day wear, perfect for like doctor's offices, very inoffensive, but very well done. And I think it's unique and just smells really good. I also get a lot of compliments when I wear this. So I think to others, it smells amazing as well. So again, that is musk therapy. In fifth place, I have Paragon. Again, part of the Hedonist collection. This one has the copper or kind of rose gold plate on it. And I love this one. I do have a full video on this. This one is really interesting. It's very hard for me to explain, but I will try my best. And I will definitely link my video for you all. So this one has a note of Palo Santo in it. And I feel like that's the star of this show. However, this has so much more going on. So the Palo Santo, you can definitely smell it kind of gives off that burning essence, but it does not take over the fragrance. So for that, I feel like this is beautifully made because generally I feel like Palo Santo and fragrances does take over and it can become a bit hard to wear for some people, but I feel like it's perfectly done in here. So in addition to the Palo Santo, I feel like I can also smell some citrusy notes that keeps this kind of fresh. It has a little bit of an aromatic nature. I'm not sure if lavender is a note in here, but that's what it kind of smells like to me. And then it also has a deep fruity tone to this fragrance as well. I believe plum is in here if I remember correctly, but don't think of this as a sweet fragrance. This is kind of a hodgepodge of different things that just works. This is definitely one you need to spray on your skin if you're testing it out though. I feel like it smells so much better on skin it gets a little bit sweeter the spices really kind of co-mingle with your skin when you're wearing it that I really don't feel like it does it justice on paper also I know it kind of sounds strange and looking at the notes you may think it sounds strange from that as well but this is one again I get compliments on like compliments where people want me to write down the name of the fragrance <laughs> So if this sounds like something you could be interested in, I would definitely say give it a try because it's quite unique. And this is the newest release from Initio. So I feel like they did a really great job with this fragrance of coming out with something unique because a lot of fragrances are coming out smelling like something else. And I feel like this one is its own thing. So again, that is Paragon. So in fourth place, I have Oud for Happiness. Now this fragrance is part of the Black Gold Project. That is the collection that this one is a part of. And supposedly this collection focuses on Oud, which according to Initio is renowned for its countless blessings. I don't know about that. <laughs> I just love the fragrances, okay? So take from that what you will. But uh, fourth place, I have Oud for Happiness. And to me, this one is quite unique. It's not something that's gonna be for everybody. Um, I think it takes a special type of person to wear this fragrance, but I happen to love it. So when I smell this fragrance, I definitely get the Oud. And to me, it is prominent, but it is very smooth and very well-rounded, nothing too stinky. So although it is a prominent oud, I find that this is the type of oud that I can wear. So in addition to oud, I definitely smell something quite green. And I'm not gonna lie, the first time I smelled this, I thought it smelled like marijuana. I don't think that's a note in here, but that's what it smelled like to me. <laughs> Now, when I smell this on paper, I still can get that, but it doesn't smell like straight marijuana to me anymore. <laughs> so it, it has this greenness to it, definitely, that is gonna turn some people off, but there's also some spices, and the key spice that makes this fragrance work for me is the ginger. The ginger to me is the star of this show. This is a fragrance that I had to spray on skin in order to fall for it. When I smelled this on paper in a store, I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> I sprayed this on my skin and at first I was kind of like, mm. but after about five minutes and that ginger kicked in, I was like, mm, I love it. Now I love ginger. 
So I think that's why this fragrance works for me. But I will say that if you're watching this and you only like feminine leaning fragrances, this is not gonna be for you. This one, I believe is unisex, but if I had to class it as feminine or masculine, I feel like it leans slightly more masculine, but I happen to really enjoy this. And I actually get compliments every single time I wear this, maybe because of the juxtaposition. I'm a quite feminine looking woman wearing an androgynous scent, maybe that's what it is. Is, but people seem to love this on me so anyway the ginger to me is the star of this show it's spicy it's not too sweet but it adds a little bit of sweetness to this fragrance and there's just something very uplifting about this fragrance I know the name is Ooh for happiness and maybe that has something to do with it <laughs> but for me whenever I wear this fragrance I feel energized and Generally, when I wear ginger fragrances, that is the case. So it's probably the ginger that's doing it for me, but I enjoy this fragrance. It is quite heavy. It is beast mode. It is not something that I overspray. <laughs> But I think that if you want to try something interesting, maybe get your nose on this, get a sample, try it on your skin. Do not blind buy, okay? Do not blind buy. But I happen to love this. So again, that is Oud for Happiness. In third place, I have Side Effect. And this one is also part of the Carnal Blends collection, which we already talked about. But Side Effect, I believe, was my very first initial fragrance. And I still love this. You see it's in third place, right? So this to me smells like a boozy, spicy, slightly leathery scent. So to me, if I had to pick out the type of alcohol, I would say it smells like some sort of either dark rum or cognac because it has this spiciness to it, but then it also has this sweetness to it. There's also saffron in this fragrance. And to me, that gives it some spice, but it also gives it a bit of a leathery touch. So I'm not sure if leather is an actual note in here, but it definitely has a leathery vibe. This one is very dark, very sensual, very alluring. This one is definitely date night for me. I have worn it to in the day, but I think this is more of a date night fragrance. Also, when I smell this, I feel like there is some sort of dark fruit in here, like maybe dried fruits or like a dark plum that gives it a slight bit of juicy sweetness. But I wouldn't necessarily call this a sweet fragrance. It's like that sexy dark fruit type of sweetness. I love this one y'all it's gorgeous i also feel like this one is perfectly unisex although i feel like more women i know wear this as opposed to men but i feel like it's perfectly unisex so again that is a side effect in second place we have oud for greatness again this one is part of the black gold project which we've already talked about and this is probably the most popular fragrance from initio i know this is the first one that i heard about from the brand however it wasn't the first one i added to my collection it's actually the second one so oud for greatness has some great oud in it <laughs> The oud in here, again, is very smooth, very smooth, but it is prominent. This also has saffron in it that gives it that sweet spiciness. In my opinion, this one doesn't really smell too leathery. It's more of a sweet, spicy saffron mixed with the oud, mixed with some aromatic notes. This is gorgeous. Now, when I first smelled this, it did remind me of Baccarat Rouge 540. It doesn't really anymore, but if I had to compare the two, Think about, if you've smelled Baccarat Rouge 540, think about a very dark, oody version of that. That's what, that's how I can describe this for those of you who have smelled Baccarat but have not smelled Oud for Greatness. But this one is a beast. It's very popular, but for good reason. I tend to only wear this when it's cold, but I actually wore it the other day because I had been fiending for it and it's still really hot here. I wore it at night and it actually did pretty well. I didn't go ham with the sprays. I probably only sprayed about maybe like five times because I was scared that it would be too much. And I felt like it worked out really well. This one lasts forever. And like I said, it's beast mode. So you really do not need a lot of this. And if you overspray it, if you overdo it, you will probably give yourself a headache. So this this is one that I say really be careful with the sprays, especially if you're a woman. I think it's perfectly unisex. I know some people think this one leans masculine, but in my opinion, I can pull this off quite easily as well as a man. So again, that is Oud for Greatness in the number two spot. And in the number one spot, we have Absolute Aphrodisiac. So again, this one is from the Absolute Collection and this one is about vanilla. So the vanilla in here is dark, it's spicy. 
it there's also this slight like nuttiness to this fragrance but i wouldn't call it a nutty fragrance but to me the vanilla smells like kind of like a nutty spicy vanilla it also smells very slightly boozy and there's this beautiful musk in this fragrance and the musk to me is the addictive type of musk it has this animalic nature to it and there's just something very addictive about this fragrance this is one that i think is perfect for cold weather but really for me this is date night and pretty much date night only <laughs> because I find it to just be so seductive. Of course, I can wear it at other times and this one is actually my most worn fragrance out of this collection and I can actually feel the difference in this bottle. I can tell that it's a lot lighter than my other bottles here, but this is just so good. Every time I wear this fragrance, I want to keep wearing it and keep wearing it and keep wearing it. So don't let the animalic notes scare you about this fragrance. This is one you should try out if you like vanillas, especially spicy vanillas. And I just, I can't get enough of this one, y'all. Can't get enough. I think I only got this one last year, but it was an immediate love for me. And I am so glad that I took a chance on this fragrance because I was scared of this one because of the animalic notes in it. But I love this. It's so addictive and it's so intoxicating. So let me stop raving. <laughs> Number one, absolute aphrodisiac. So that was my initial collection. Now the house does offer other fragrances and I have smelled some of them. I have not smelled all of them. There's a couple other popular ones like Psychedelic Love and Atomic Rose that I have smelled, but I didn't really feel like they were for me. But overall, I feel like this is a house that has something for everybody, as long as you like sexy, addictive scents. When I think about Initio, that's what I think of, sexy, addictive scents. Anyway, if you've tried any of these fragrances that I mentioned, let me know what you think of them. Let me know what is your favorite fragrance from Initio. I'll be interested to hear your answers on that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I upload videos typically every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I have tons of content that you can check out in your free time. Also, if you have not already checked out my website, check it out. It's www.simplyaish.com. Over there, I do talk about fragrance, but I also talk about other things that I love. So go check it out and get on my email list over there. Also, if you want to connect with me more, follow me over on Instagram. I'm typically in my stories almost every day and I love to chat with y'all in my DMs. I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!